Hey, it's Chris here, and today we're going to be covering up these pipes that come from our outdoor wood boiler that I talked about in my last video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. And so we're going to be putting some foam board insulation around here. You see I've already started wrapping these pipes with some, some fiberglass insulation, and then we're going to cover it with a nice box that uh, my wife has designed, and it's going to look a little better than the pipes just sticking out of the ground. So stay tuned, check it out. So I don't have everything planned down to the inch here. Some guys like to draw it up and sketch up and all that. I'm not proficient enough in that for me at this point to make it worth doing. So I just kind of wing it. Um, and so I'll bring you guys along to, to see how it comes out as we go. knife is just a little too short to get all the way through boom I have this other little knife that is long enough so the idea is here if I use the heavier blade to do the lion's share of the cutting then I can use the little blade and hopefully it won't break during the process we'll see So the wood we're using today is a one by eight by eight foot long, they call it a utility board or a ledger board. You get them at Home Depot. They're just over five bucks. They're pretty rough. Um, one side here has kind of some planer marks on it, a little bit of a different thickness, pretty rough edges, but they make great uh, rustic chic uh, woodworking projects. And that's why we're using them. They're nice and easy to work with and you know things aren't just perfect you don't notice because it's supposed to look like that
So I'm using this quarter inch rabbiting bit in my router here, and that's gonna make this rabbit on the edge, so that way it's kind of a shiplap design here. There's a few different ways you can do this. You can use a table saw, you can use a router table, a lot of different ways to skin the cat, and maybe I'll show those in a later video, but today, this was quick and easy, and it's getting the job done for me. Looks like that's all the time we have for today. So we got the foam cut, we got the boards all milled up here, and uh, just about ready to start assembling this whole thing. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you haven't already, and turn those notifications on so you see when we make the next video and we can carry on with the project. We'll see you next time.